Hey everyone, it's been a minute. Uh, life has happened. My baby is now a toddler with opinions and preferences, and I'm just along for the ride. So, uh, wow, that got too deep. Uh, yeah, I have a few minutes to myself, which is pretty rare, and I wanted to take this opportunity to just get back into making some videos. So, I've been traveling a lot for work recently, and part of that has resulted in me you know, trying to figure out how to consolidate all of the tech and gear that I travel with. So this past week I was in two cities in four days and being able to consolidate all of my tech into a small little pouch is something that's been really convenient. So I wanted to take a chance and share about that. I also wrote a blog post about why I think everyone should have a tech pouch. I'll link that down below in case if you want to take a look at that. But for this video, we're going to talk about my tech pouch and what's in it, why I like it, why I think everyone should have one, and maybe you can get some ideas here. So I'll leave some timestamps down below of all the products that I'm talking about in case you want to jump around and it's more convenient to you. But let's go ahead and get started. The main thing that makes up my tech pouch is this Peak Design Travel Tech Pouch. Uh, and I like this for a few reasons. I have the backpack that has a similar material so it goes well together and then this is just a really well-made bag. Like it's really high build quality. It's weather resistant or water resistant, which means, you know, if it, in case it gets wet, like it's not going to get inside the bag. The zippers are pretty sturdy um, and there's a lot of ways to grab it. So like there's a handle here, there's a handle here, handles on the side, handles down here. If you use the Peak Design uh, camera sling then you can also attach it here and make yourself a little sling bag but i just really like overall how it's built the organization inside uh, makes it so that i can pack quite a few things in here without it taking up too much space uh, it is on the pricier side so i am going to link some different options below the one that i found most similar to this is the tom talk uh, similar in terms of size shape organization structure uh, it is a little bit cheaper and it comes in different colors, but for purposes of this video, I'm just going to focus on everything that I can fit inside my tech design tech pouch. So the first thing that I always make sure that I have in my tech pouch is this Anchor, I think it's 727 uh, power brick. There is an updated version that pushes 140 watts. So I'll link both of those down below, but I got this when it first came out and this was 100 watts. So a few things that I like about this. It's pretty compact. Uh, it's around the size of an iPhone. So I have an iPhone 4 15 Pro Max here and they're pretty similar in size, right? So it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, it has two outlets on it, which means I can take up an outlet at a coffee shop or conference room or you know really anywhere and still have two outlets left over for anything else that needs to be plugged in. It also has four ports at the bottom, two USB type C and then two USB type A. Uh, the first USB type C lets me charge my laptop at 100 watts. So this is perfect for my 16 inch MacBook Pro that I use at work and all of the other ports can charge any of the other accessories that I have. So I like it because it's compact. It has a high power output, provides additional outlets and I can really charge anything into here. So this makes it to where I don't have to carry any additional charging bricks or anything because I know that as long as I have this I can pretty much charge anything that I need. So really big fan of this one. I'll leave it linked down below. The next thing that you'll find in here is a bunch of cables. So I have a few USB-C to lightning cables. And the reason I have this is because of my AirPods really. Uh, I'm trying to consolidate into USB type C accessories as much as I can. So being able to um, have one cable or one type of cable is going to be really convenient and help me not have to carry all of these different ones. But for now, I still have this lightning cable. I could replace the AirPods, but they work. So I just don't feel like I need to buy a new pair of AirPods just to get rid of the cable. So once they do, you know, eventually stop working and I have to buy a new one, then USB type C is going to be the, the types of cables that I have. So there's not really much to share in terms of the cables. There are two types of cables that I wanted to point out just because it's made things a little bit more convenient. So I have this, you know, just standard cable. It is USB type A, but the cool thing about this is that it has three different outlets and it's retractable. So 
um, doesn't take up a lot of space in my bag and it does provide lightning, micro USB and USB-C uh, ports. So this is good if you're like at a hotel or something and you just need to plug into one of the USB ports in the hotel. Um, I don't really charge my phone or anything with this. This is more for like AirPods or speakers or um, any sort of miscellaneous gadgets that I need to charge. Uh, but it's handy because it can charge three things at once. It doesn't charge them very fast, but usually the types of products that I'm putting in here, not really too worried about them charging really fast. The other one that I'll highlight is this Anchor uh, braided USB Type-C cable. And the only reason that I'll highlight this one is because it's a 240 watt cable. So, you know, I, my charging brick only pushes, pushes 100 watts, but having a cable that is capable of 240 watts kind of future proofs me, right? So my idea is that if I'm already going to be buying these types of cables, you know, buy one so that you don't have to buy other ones again. So any new types of cables that I'm pushing, I'm trying to make sure that they're high powered uh, cables so that I don't have to you know, replace them at some point. Some other things you'll find in my tech pouch are SSDs. You know, I have these two here, this SanDisk SSD and the Samsung SSD. Uh, they're small, don't take up a lot of space, and I like to keep them in there in case I need to offload some of the footage from my cameras or anything like that. So it's really helpful. Again, light, compact, don't take up a lot of space. Uh, I'll link some of these below. Don't want to get into, you know, a whole bunch of drama here, but I've heard a lot about these specific types of drives um, not being reliable or corrupting on some folks. So I'll include links to articles down below that cover that. And I'll also include a link in case you're still interested or, or want to take a look at them. Uh, I haven't had any issues with mine so far, and I do use it to edit videos and uh, offload photos and edit photos and things like that. So hasn't broken on me yet, but that doesn't mean that it's, you know, it's not a broader problem out there for other folks. So just do your research if you are considering something like this. I have seen them go on sale recently and whether or not that's a sign of them being discontinued in the future, I don't know. I just, I have one, it works for me, but I have heard a lot of people say that it hasn't worked for them. So just be mindful of that whenever you're looking for, for SSDs. So some other things that I like to include in my tech pouch are just wired earbuds. Uh, wired earbuds are just always safe to have. They don't take up a lot of space and they fit in one of these smaller pockets, especially with USB Type-C earbuds. Now that I have an iPhone 15, um, I can really use the earbuds for my iPad, my laptop, my phone, you know, anything that requires me to use them. And there have been times where the Bluetooth on my AirPods or my Bose headphones, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work, people can't hear me, so it's been really convenient to just, you know, plug these in whenever I need them. Pen and paper, uh, not tech, but still handy to have. There's enough space in here where I can keep this little moleskin notebook and one of these pens, just in case I ever need to capture some things. So there have been times where I didn't have my larger notebook or it's been at the bottom of my backpack and I just wanted to write something down. Uh, having this in my tech pouch is uh, super convenient because I can just write something down, tear it out, and then give it to someone or, uh, you know, it's just always handy and available in case I need it. It doesn't take up too much space. One of the things that I've really been enjoying in the tech pouch is the Opal Tadpole camera. Uh, this has just been really fun to, to have around. Uh, I've been traveling a lot for work. You know, it's one of the reasons I'm making this video. And there's some calls where I've had to be on camera and, you know, I use a MacBook Pro for uh, for work and the webcam is fine, but just being able to clamp on this little camera uh, really improves the picture quality of what the uh, of what the video call looks like. Handy thing too is that it includes its own microphone. I'm usually using AirPods or some sort of earbuds because I don't like having speaker video calls in open places, but if I am in an office or if I'm at home, you know, not at my desk where I have my webcam, the microphone is pretty decent. One of the cool things is that uh, at the end of the USB-C port, uh, you have a little touch capacitive button that will light up to mute and unmute yourself. So the button is red, you're on mute, uh, and if you need to speak or come off mute, you just tap it again. So. Not a physical button, but it is one where you, you know, 
have a dedicated button with feedback on whether or not you're on mute. Uh, there's different ways to mute and unmute yourself and there's been plenty of times where I mute myself and then I open another window or another app or something and then it's my turn to talk or somebody asks me a question and I'm struggling to figure out where the team's window went. So having something like this where I can just like, you know, tap to mute, do something and respond to an email or something and then tap to unmute has been pretty, pretty helpful and pretty convenient. And it's just, look at this. It's so small and so cute and it just, it fits in the tech bag. It's just something that I, I really have enjoyed. It is on the pricier side. It's around 179 at the time of posting this video. So it really only makes sense if you're somebody who's always on the road, you know, traveling for a, for work or you need to take calls remotely. But I do think it's, if you have the money and you really care about your picture quality, it's a really good thing to have in your tech bag. I'm a big fan of battery packs. So I usually have a lot of Anchor external batteries uh, because they're affordable, they're reliable, and with the new GAN technology, you know, they're a lot lighter and smaller. Uh, so I have a few of those around. I usually like to keep one in my tech bag. And I also keep one in my backpack that's easily accessible to me. Uh, and it just makes it to where, you know, of all the things that I've talked about, cables, portable battery, it just means that if I ever need something and I have my tech pouch, like I know that I'm covered. I don't have to go in my backpack and dig for things. You know, I, I know that as long as there is a tech pouch around me, you know, I'm gonna have the things that I need in here, which is one of the reasons that I recommend a lot of folks have a tech bag. Lastly, you know, I've talked a lot about the tech that goes in here and once you add all of it up, it does get pretty expensive. So one of the things I also like to add is a Apple AirTag. This just makes it so that I'm notified if I ever leave the area without my tech bag, it um, makes it to where I know that I have it on me. So if I'm at airport security or something and you know, I want to confirm that I have my bag and I didn't leave it at the hotel or at the office or something, I can just open the Find My app and it'll ring if I have it with me and not, I can see where the last place was. Something that I definitely recommend putting on some of your pricier items or things that you really don't want to lose. I have an AirTag in my luggage, I have one in my uh, tech bag, and I also have one in my backpack because that's where you know, my laptop, my iPad, a lot of my more expensive electronics are. So definitely recommend an AirTag. I think it's worth 30 bucks or however much each of them come cost if you uh, buy the set. It's just peace of mind that anytime I open the Find My app, as long as everything is where I am, we're in a good spot. And that's really it. Uh, just wanted to make this quick video, you know, after having been on and off, mostly off for the last two or three years, I just wanted to make a video just to get back into the swing of things. So this might not look the best or might not be the crispiest video but you know it's a video and i'm hoping it's the one that gets me back into the routine of of making things and sharing things um, in the time that's passed where i haven't been posting you know i've been creating a lot of different blogs so i'll list them down below they range from a variety of topics uh, that's just been something that's been easier for me to keep up with and manage with a kiddo that's just taken over our lives so uh, when I ever I do get times like this where folks are out of the house and I have some time to myself I am hoping to get back into making these types of videos So this one to me seemed like something that's relevant simple easy to record hopefully easy to edit and Yeah, I'm excited for everyone that stuck around and please subscribe if you haven't already That definitely keeps the morale high over here because it shows me that people are watching this and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. If you have your own tech pouch, you know, list some of the things that you carry in your tech pouch down below. Uh, is there anything that you think are essential that I didn't include? Or is there another option for uh, a tech pouch that you prefer? You know, feel free to leave a discussion or a comment down below. I'm really interested to see what other folks are using because uh, this is just fine. I'm hopeful to learn a lot about what you guys are using. So appreciate you being here. Long outro, but I'll catch you in the next one.